Well, let's get to our national political correspondent, Steve Kornacki, who's been working the mm -hmm. big board throughout the night. He's back at it this morning. Okay, I don't think 24 hours ago we would have predicted that we wouldn't know what is going to happen in the House yet. It's, it's amazing when you consider Republicans only needed a net gain of five seats to get control of the House. That was the closest a minority party was to winning the House coming into a midterm in nearly a century. And yet this morning, as you say, this is what our NBC News House model is showing, our Projection 218 is what you need to get a majority in the House. Our projection right now is that the Republicans will land at 220, critically, plus or minus 10 seats. So in other words, there is very much a universe right now where Republicans could move north of 220 and end up with a majority somewhere around 10 seats or so. There is also a universe where the Democrats could retain control of the House. It remains undecided at this hour. And the same goes for the Senate. Can we do the same thing on the Senate side? What's the path to control there for both parties? Yeah, so let's take a look at it. You heard some reports in the key states there. The big call overnight was that the Democrats picked up Pennsylvania. That means the Republicans need to gain two Democratic seats if they're going to get control of the Senate. You see in yellow what's uncalled here. Ron Johnson is leading in Wisconsin. Let's say Ron Johnson holds on to that. Republicans would hold that seat. You got the report from Georgia where a runoff is a distinct possibility. Let's say they do go to a runoff in Georgia. What that would mean is that between Arizona and Nevada, where you just heard those two reports, Republicans would for a moment need to win one of those two. Their candidate is trailing in Arizona. Their candidate has a lead in Nevada. So between those two, I think the Republicans, if they're going to win one, their prospects are probably better in Nevada than in Arizona. So let's say the Democrats were to get Arizona. Arizona, the Republicans were to get Nevada. Under a scenario like that, this, Georgia, the runoff, would end up being what decides control of the Senate. That runoff would be held on December 6th. And if the Democrats instead were to sweep Nevada and Arizona, that'd be it. They'd control the Senate. Well, can we go back to the House for a minute? Let's drill down on, on what exactly happened and where the, the Democrats are vulnerable at this hour. We saw what happened in Florida. It was mm -hmm. basically a red sweep in Florida. It makes mm -hmm. a huge difference for the Republicans. But there's another place where Democrats are very vulnerable. This is the surprise. Right, so Democrats have done vastly better than they imagined anyone imagined they would do. And yet look at New York State, right? One of the big blue states. What happened in New York State is the governor's race, Kathy Hochul, the Democrat, gets reelected, but it's a close race. And the Republican Lee Zeldin ran up huge numbers on Long Island and huge numbers upstate. And what that's done is there's just a whole bunch of House races in New York State mm -hmm. in areas where Zeldin did well, where the Republicans are leading. Look at this one. Sean Patrick Maloney is the chairman of the DCCC. The, co the committee that organizes the Democrats' campaign strategy nationally. He is trailing in his own district. Democrats are trailing in two seats on Long Island. Democrats could lose five House seats out of New York. So we're going through all that math right now. Ironically enough, the biggest batch of outstanding results this morning is in New York, and there's the prospect that Democrats could lose five of them there. That could end up being the difference in the House, New York. Hmm. It's fascinating wow. to see how this is developing. Steve, thank you very much. Great job. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.